realized last night that I was up to 49 subscribers to this channel. So I posted on my Facebook page, I have 49 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I think if I got 50 tonight, I'd do something wacky by request. Well, it turned out I got more than 60 subscribers, and I got to thinking about the whole wackiness idea, and I realized that uh, this is really a pretty highbrow kind of YouTube channel, and, and I do some classy stuff too, so I thought I would give you something a little special, something to help you think, something to help you get a little culture in your system. So here it is. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Welcome to the Man Room. Today I thought I'd give you a little bit of a treat and read to you from F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic book, The Great Gatsby. It's a, just a world of fun in itself. I'll be beginning in chapter one. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. He didn't say any more, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way, and I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. And in consequence, I'm inclined to reserve all judgments, a habit that has opened up many curious natures to me and has also made me the victim of not a few veteran bores. The abnormal mind is quick to detect and attach itself to this quality when it appears in a normal person. And so it came about that in college really? I was the unjustly great Gatsby. accused of that's, being That's a your idea of wackiness. I cannot believe I you talked me into this. This is so boring. You just got like 10 or 12 new subscribers because you promised them something wacky and you're reading to them from the great Gatsby. We get all dolled up so that you can read to them from the great Gatsby. You're an idiot, all right? You're just dumb. They're, they're, they're going to unsubscribe, you know. They're not going to stay subscribed. They are going to unsubscribe. They're going to leave us. They're going to run off. They're going to go watch Ray William Johnson or Wheezy Waiter or something. They're not going to stick around for you. Observing judgment is a matter of infinite... Wait, I... I, am still I, I can fix this. I can fix this. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I can fix this. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. I got this. Conduct may be found on the hard rock or the wet marshes, but after a certain point, I don't care what it's founded on. When I came back from the east last autumn, you I felt that I wanted reek the world to be a failure. Uniform. You know that, don't you? I can smell it. You can hide it up with your cheap tuxedo, but you, my friend, you reek a failure. The man who gives his name to this book was exempt from my oh, reaction. Gatsby, who represented wait, what everything. What else? What else? Can I, um, I oh, ooh, wait. <laughs> Look, if hey, a wacky hat. Is hey, yeah. Of, <laughs> Look at me. I got a wacky hat. <laughs> some, heightened, some heightened sensitivity to the promise of life, as if he were related to one of those intricate machines that registers earthquakes you know, 10,000 miles away. Stuff like this. This is why. This, this, this. Oh. Wait, there's a. Oh, look, Monty Python book. <laughs> Monty Python book. We can read this. You can read this instead. It's got the parrot sketch. You can read the parrot sketch. Everyone loves the parrot sketch. You can read that to them. Stop it with the great Gatsby. No one wants to hear it. No one wants the great Gatsby. It's so. It's so boring. <laughs> Oh. Out my interest in the abortive sorrows and short-winded elations of man. Well, there you have it. A little bit of the great Gatsby. I hope that was wacky enough for you today here in the man room. Thank you for joining us. Please be sure to tune in again some other time. Thank you. <laughs> Well,
Well, thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Also, check out my other channel, Empty Nest 2.0. I do this one with my daughter, Megan. She recently moved out, and we make these little videos and kind of go back and forth and have a lot of fun with it. So check that one out, too. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.